Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Monday. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 22nd, 2018. Well, this morning, we're looking at the futures being very happy this morning. Overnight, Asian markets popped up dramatically. Um, the Shanghai was up over 4% last night. And European markets are also bullish across the board this morning. So consequently, our futures are looking uh, rather happy. At this exact moment, as I record this, Dow futures are up 131 points. So we're looking for a nice, strong, gap up this morning now the question that we have to deal with is is this going to be a higher low a confirmation of a higher low and the possible beginning of a recovery rally here or is this just a prelude to another gap up and fail uh, pattern like we've seen recently we have to keep in mind that as we continue to rally we are below um, some significant resistance levels and we're going to have to pay attention to that as we move forward if we take a look we have a price resistance right through this area that whoops there we go right through this area that served as resistance for us last week and pushed the index indexes right back down Re remember we haven't solved any of the problems that created the sell-off yet um, so uh, any gap up has to be thought of as being a little bit suspect uh, gap up and into a potential resistance area is also one of those things that we need to pay very close attention to and realize the possibility that we could find more sellers up there I'm not quite certain that this sell-off is over, or that this correction is finished just yet. However, earnings could certainly change that, and we have a slew of those this week. Nearly 900 companies reporting earnings. So we take all of the volatility of the correction and all of the volatility of earnings reports, and we could potentially have the perfect storm for really, really fast price action. Whipsaws, head fakes, uh, you know, the market could toss just about everything at us this week. So be really careful and make sure you're planning carefully because this market could suck a lot of money out of a person's account if you're not really paying attention. Let's take a look here um, at the moving averages. You can see we're still below, well below, the 50-day moving average. Notice that the 50-day moving average has flattened out. And our shorter term averages have started to decline and maybe crossing down through those those levels, creating a resistance zone right here that we'll have to pay attention to. Now that's gonna be the same across basically all the indexes. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY not in a very good condition here um, overall. Remember this rejected area right here from last week, fairly significant resistance that we are under. And although we're gapping up this morning, we still have to prove an ability to get up through there. Can we do it? We absolutely could. Only time will tell what will actually happen, but we need to make sure and plan our trading with our eyes wide open. Let's also keep in mind, we are a long way from the 50-day moving average here in the SPY. This is not a healthy market. And let's uh, also pay attention to the fact that the 50-day moving average is declining with shorter term averages having already crossed through. Even a rally up here has to be watched very carefully for potential failures let's take a look at the Nasdaq the Nasdaq has really struggled an awful lot and gapping up this morning really I think it's in uh, what the market's trying to do is anticipate a good round of earnings and it's possible we may get those whether we get a a, um, a good earnings report and a good guidance forward would be the question. If we get a good earnings report and they guide not so strong forward, 
we could still see selling even after a good earnings report. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, on the on the Nasdaq here, as you can see, holding above the 200-day moving average on Friday. But we do have these resistance levels up here that we do have to pay attention to. And we are gapping up this morning very close to this resistance level. So we'll want to watch that closely. Also, looking at those moving average, you, you can see we've got that 50-day moving average in decline and our shorter-term averages crossing through. So even if we can get up here, we have to be very, very watchful of that potential failure at a lower high in here maintaining our trend I didn't draw that very well but you get my point maintaining uh, a potential downtrend so watch that closely let's take a look um, at IWM IWM um, just a a sad state of affairs here in IWM um, well below whoops didn't mean to click on that well below our 200 day moving average look how our 50 day moving average is in decline sharply and all of our moving averages are sinking hard our shorter terms are sinking hard toward the 200 day so even if we can catch this rally and you can see IWM is really not getting involved this morning uh, much at all even if we do catch this rally um, we have significant price levels that we have to break through just to get back to the 200-day moving average and all of these other averages creating some resistance. So not exactly, uh, you know, a picture of bullishness here in any of the indexes. And we need to make sure to have our eyes wide open when we get these big gaps like this. It could be just more... Uh, more head fake, more um, potential for those whipsaws that certainly can be created, just like we did on Friday. Friday last week, we gap up, we get this ugly whipsaw. And if you guys remember um, on Friday's report, I was warning of that possibility. It took a while for that to occur, but eventually it did occur. And after that gap up open, we pulled it all the way back in that nasty little intraday whipsaw that we can see right here on a 15 minute chart where we gap up and then just can't go to the upside. We pull all the way back and create a, a low for the day um, sinking through. Uh, before we catch a little bit of pickup in the day. So hopefully we don't catch a, a, a whipsaw like that today. Hopefully we can actually see buyers truly follow through uh, through this area. So let's watch that close. If we take a look at the VIX, the VIX found some support down in here. And if I were to adjust this line down, you could see adjust this right down here to these tops rather than on the wicks. That's a pretty good hold of a support level here in the VIX. So we'll want to watch that closely. The gap up this morning I would expect is going to bring us back down into this area of support the question will be once we get down into this area will we see those sellers kind of come back into play hard to hard to guess that hard to know we'll just have to watch that closely let's take a quick look at um t2122 T2122, that four week new high new low ratio is definitely in support of a bounce we are down here in these low bullish reversal zones here on t2122 so potentially calling for a bounce um, to occur here in uh, in the market so that's okay we want to see that happen but we still have to be respectful of price resistance above and be careful not to race in uh, just before the market decides to reverse itself. Now expect really high volatility with um, earnings and everything this week. It could be very, very challenging. Keep in mind, you do not have to trade every day to be successful as a trader. As a matter of fact, sometimes less is more. And remember, part of your job as a trader is to protect your capital. And during turbulent times like this, if you feel you have no edge, remember, you do not have to trade. Trading is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And cash is a position. So remember that when you're planning your day. Only trade when you feel you have an edge in the market. Don't trade just for the sake of trading.
Um, with that, everyone, let's take a look at the economic calendar. Economic calendar today, really a light calendar to kind of get us going here today. Chicago uh, Fed National Activity Index this morning, not expected to move the market. And then after that, just four bond events today on our calendar. So not much going on there. We don't have to worry about an awful lot on the economic calendar. On the earnings front, we have 77 companies reporting earnings today. They are really going to be coming out fast and furious um, as the morning goes on and then uh, a big bunch of earnings after the open today. Keep in mind there's over, well not over, nearly 900 companies reporting earnings this week. So we're going to have to really stay on our toes and watch the volatility of those earnings. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. And always, always, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Everyone, I do these videos just because I want to help other traders. I don't put... Uh, don't put a single ad on these. I don't do anything to make money from these. These are purely in an effort to help traders do better. And if you find this useful, please do um, give me that thumbs up and, and um, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. That helps me, helps the algorithms of YouTube and those show these videos to more folks. And so I truly appreciate those who, who do take the time to like and comment that makes a big difference for me. Everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all the very, very best. We'll talk to you all soon, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Take care now.